Hey everybody, Lloyd here with Just Got Played, and today we're going to be taking a look at Cabo. Hey, today I'm going to teach you how to play Cabo, the elusive unicorn card game by Bezier Games. Uh, in Cabo, you are trying to get rid of cards and lower the points on the cards in front of you um, by the end of the round to have the lowest score. The trick is, is that throughout most of the game, your cards and your opponent's cards remain face down in front of you. Okay. You will have some knowledge of the cards in front of you and also in front of your opponent because at the beginning of the round, you get to look at two of your cards and throughout the game through various actions and even drawing cards from the discard pile, you will be able to see cards that are face up or peek at cards or spy on the other player's cards. So how do we play? Okay, so I'm just gonna deal out a two player game here. Um, so each player is going to get four cards, okay? The cards stay face down like so. One card or the deck goes back in the middle and a card gets flipped okay so each player can look at two of their cards so you can look at any two cards but only two and once you look at the cards you can't move their position so they have to stay in that position the rest of the game so what i'm going to do as this player is i'm going to look at these first two cards so i look at them i see i have a pair of sixes okay that's good i have no idea what these two cards are the other player is going to do the same thing so on your turn, you can essentially do um, one of two things. You can draw from the deck, you keep it face down, you look at it, and then you can either discard the card or you can swap it for one of the cards in your uh, little tableau here of four cards, okay? Or the other thing you can do is you can take the face up card and replace one of the cards that are there, but the card will stay face up so everyone will know exactly what you have. There are three action cards in Cabo. Peek, Swap, and Spy. Let's take a look at how those work now. Let's take a look at the three different action cards in the game. The Swap card. The Swap card allows you to swap one card from your side to one card from the other player's side, but you can't look at the card. Your card that you took will go into the spot where your card that you're replacing. So the cards literally swap spots. Okay. The next card is the spy card. The spy card lets you look at another player's card. Then you put it back in the same exact spot. Okay. And the last card is the peak card. Peak card works similar to the spy card, but it lets you look at one of your own cards. And then you put it back in the same spot. The game is played over a series of rounds and the lowest score at the end of all of those rounds is the winner. The game ends when someone goes over 100 points, so 101 points and up. Okay. So the way the game works is on my turn, I am going to draw a card, okay? So I'm gonna draw this, I draw one, that's a really good card. The cards range from um, one to, I believe, 13, okay? Um, so the one card is really good. I want to keep this card. I don't want the other players to know. Okay. So normally what I would do is I would swap out this card with any one card and flip it over. And now I have my one card. So now if I've been paying attention, I know what this card, this card, and this card are. Okay? So the other player is going to do the same thing. They're going to flip, take a card. They're going to look at it. This card lets them peek. So eight's not a typical very good card however it does have the action so they're going to discard their card and they're going to peek at one of their other cards okay they don't replace their card so now it's my turn again i take a card this is a terrible card i don't want to keep this card it's an 11. i know i have a one and i know i have a pair of sixes so i could just discard the card and do nothing or I could choose to take the card and swap it with a card in my uh, little tableau here. One of the ways uh, to lower your 
your uh, numbers is to get rid of multiple cards at the same time. How do you do that? The way you get rid of two cards or more is if you draw a card and you decide when you're gonna replace it, you push the cards forward that you wanna replace. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna replace those two cards, okay? So whenever I go to replace the cards, I flip the two cards over, and if they match, if the cards match, I get rid of these cards, and I replace it with the one that I just picked up. What happens if the cards don't match? Let's see, all right, so I'm gonna pick up, got a five. I want to keep the five. I think these two cards match. I push these two cards forward and I say, I'm going to get rid of those two cards. I flip my cards over. Oh no, they don't match. So what happens in that instance? Well, if they don't match, I have to bring these cards back and now I have this extra card. I was at three. Now I'm at four. Okay. So the game continues doing that um, as you try to keep getting lower and lower and lower cards. When you think you have the lowest hand, you call Cabo. What does that mean? That means that I'm ending the round. I'm choosing that the round is going to end now, okay? So the other player has a chance to draw another card and do something. He just drew a really good card. He's gonna take this card, toss that. That was dumb, but he didn't know that there was a one there. So now that the round is over, Everyone reveals what they have left, okay? So now you add up your cards and they're just added at face value. One plus four is five, 10, 17 for the player who called Cabo. Player two has 12, 14, 15, 16, 17 as well. Player one called Cabo. Everyone's added up their points. Player one has 17 points and player two has 17 points. So what does that mean? Well, if player one had one point less, and this is what he had, he had 16, he would total that up, he's less than player two, player two would get 17 points, player one would get zero points. As long as you're lower than everyone else at the table, you get zero points. However, because player one also had 17 points, player one now must add up his points and add 10. So instead of getting 17 points, he has 27 to player two's 17 points. There's another special rule to round end scoring, and that's called kamikaze. So in this game, player one calls Cabo. If you end a round with both 12s and both 13s, you get zero points and everyone else at the table gets 50 points. So it's very risky to try and go for kamikaze. If you start off with a couple of those, it might be worth it to go for them because people are gonna toss those 12s and 13s because they don't want them. So the game would continue round after round until someone reaches 101 or more. At that point, the game ends. There are some special rules with scoring. If the player would ever to hit exactly 100, they actually reset their score and go back to 50 and the game continues to go on. And that's how you play Cabo, the elusive unicorn card game.